Welcome back you guys. So today's video, I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be hopefully working on soon. I say hopefully because I still don't get any money really and I don't have a job yet. But I have been trying my hardest to get a job. I've been to like uh, 12 interviews now and I still haven't gotten anything. But either way, besides all that, let me just explain what's going on here. So this right here I just got from Amazon. It was like supposed to be like $8 and some change. But probably a little more if you don't have Prime. Because you have to pay for shipping. But um, either way, this is called the W3220 basically. Uh, thermostat. It's basically a temperature sensor. So I'm going to show you really quick why I even wanted to get me one of these. So I was, I'm always basically looking on Thingiverse for things that I may want to look into 3D printing on my 3D printer. And matter of fact, let me just show you, let me pause the video and I'll show you really quick. Hold on. Okay guys, so this guy is on Thingiverse and he was number one on the first page for Thingiverse for about a day or two. And that was like, uh, like two days ago. Anyway. He has a YouTube channel, and he actually designed a machine that actually cuts plastic bottles, as you can see right there. So, like, a regular water bottle or, like, um, any kind of soda, soda so, like, Coca-Cola and stuff like that. And what it does, there on the far right over here, he has a motor. It's a geared motor that pulls the filament that he's design, um, pulling or uh, making out of that bottle right there. So he's using a nozzle for like a 3D printer and it has basically a 1.75 millimeter hole for the nozzle that he just used a screw uh, drill bit to drill the hole to make it wider than the 0 0.4 uh, millimeter nozzle. Anyway, inside of here you can see that he has a thermostat controller. So I looked online, well, I was looking at his video really close, and I looked online to see what kind of controller that was, and I was able to buy it. So this is the W3230 thermostat controller that he has on his um, YouTube videos that he's using for his machine. So basically, I have tried to make something like this before in the in the past, and back then it was actually called a filostruder. So what it does, it uses a motor that pushes filament to basically a 1.75 millimeter nozzle. So you would just pour um, little pieces of plastic, basically. So like if you had um, filament that was messed up that you could just recycle you can use the filament that you're not using anymore instead of throwing it away you can just reuse it inside of the fill extruder it would melt the filament back down and then put and then it should come out the same size for regular 3d printers the fdm uses mostly most fdm 3d printers use 1.75 millimeter um filament so that's pla ABS, PETG, and then um, um, P, um, PETG, so PETG. So anyway, um, what I wanted to show you on this video, I was able to, because like when I bought this, it didn't have any wiring diagram or a schematic on how you set this up. So I looked up the information, basically I googled it. <laughs> And um, I looked up for a wiring diagram for this actual controller. And matter of fact, I'm going to pause the video real quick. And then I'm going to get the page up so you guys can see what it looks like. Hold on. Okay, guys. So that is what it looks like. That's the back wiring diagram for the W3230 thermostat controller. And you can see down here in the bottom, the S1 is the negative that goes over to the load or the power that you're trying to turn on because inside of this thermostat it actually has a relay switch inside of it 
So you can set the temperature using a probe that comes with the machine and then that probe will actually measure the temperature settings of your load or your fan whatever you're trying to heat up or cool down because it uses for you can use it for a cooler like a, a, a um, refrigerator or a ac unit and um or a fan basically depend on like what the power is for the fan that you need to power but I'm I bought me a 12 volt um version. You can get 12 volt, 24 volt or a regular AC power instead of DC which would be like 115 to 120 to 220 volts AC. Anyway, so over here you can see the positive goes to the controller so like the power switch that you want to turn on and then um, the negative goes into S1 and then S2 is the output that turns on the load when it's switched on when the a relay switch turns on but either way so now that we have the wiring diagram for you guys to actually look at um, you can look at my setup over here really quick so I have it connected and I have it wired up just like the wiring diagram so you need to make sure that when you're running a load, so right now I got this little um, reader. It's a DC reader. Reader, you can see twelve. Um, it's a voltage DC reader. I just put tape on it a while ago just to make sure I knew that what I had because I do have an AC version too. So I just wanted to make sure that I knew which one I was using. But either way, so I got the positive and negative coming out of on uh, the the reader here so the positive goes into the vcc positive right here and it's connected to my 12 volt power supply over here this is an old power supply that came with my a net a8 3d printer and i made sure that i adjusted using that potentiometer right there to make sure it was exactly 12 volts or a little over i think it's like 12.2 or something like that but either way um, it is 12 volts going into the controller here. And I have the wire from the reader connected to the positive um, voltage from the power supply. The 12 volts going in. And then I have the negative connected right here as you can see ground. So the ground is this black wire right here. And then that is connected to this green wire to the S1 before you get to the switch. You can see there's a switch right there. And S2 is the switch for the negative or the ground basically to turn on the power supply. Uh, well, the power reader. So I'm gonna turn on my setup here so you guys can see. I'm gonna just turn this a little bit so you guys can look at the reading. It should be a little over 12 volts, I believe. So, God, so much, all right, there. So all I got to do is turn on, I have a regular computer plug that's plugged in right here to this setup over here that goes to my power supply. And there is a switch on the side over here. So all I got to do is turn that on and it is plugged in so I don't have to worry about anything hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to turn it on. One, two, three, and oh wait, hold on. That's all, there we go. There we go. On. So now that's on, and you can see that it already turned on, showing you, because it did click, If I don't know if you heard that a second ago, but the relay switch turned on, and you can see that the voltage reader is reading 12.2. There we go, so you guys can see a little better. 12.2 on my voltage reader, and that is how you would turn on. Right now I'm going to be using basically 3D printer, um, heater cartridge a, a heater cartridge and like 3d printer um parts basically to do what he was basically doing so right here this is one of my 12 volt heater power um, cartridges from a 3d printer that you can buy these aren't really expensive but i had had a lot of them because 
when I was making that philostruder that I was talking about earlier, um, I think I used like five or six of them inside of the hot end that I was making to pull, pull out the filament. And I used a drill bit that was basically for wood. And turning on a motor, I had bought myself a geared windshield wiper motor from one of those salvage yards. You know, the auto salvage yards. So I bought me a 12 volt geared window wiper motor to be able to turn the drill bit that pushes the filament forward to the hot end that I had made using these heater cartridges and a, a piece of one kind of like a block of aluminum to shut to drill holes to put these into the into the block to make sure that the whole block was heating up but either way um, now that I'm showing you that this is actually on let me just flip this upside down. Hopefully you guys will be able to kind of catch all this. It's a little difficult because there's a lot of wires and stuff in the way. But, um, so right here, you can see that just like on the video that, um, the guy was showing on YouTube, I watched like probably like three different people showing how to use or set this up. So you can see that it's flashing a little bit, but that's just because we didn't really do anything yet I just turned it on but I have it set for 70 degrees Celsius but I can change it it can go all the way up to 120 degrees Celsius but um what I'm gonna do is just all you gotta do right now if you don't want it on basically you can just hit set hold it down and right there is H because that's for heat and it's set for 70 degrees Celsius, but if I press it and hold it for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, it's a little finicky, but um, it does have the ability to cool down. And then, if I just hold on, there you go. So when you click it. When you hit set, it'll flash, and then you can adjust the temperature by going up on that PV or down on the PV. So, either way, it can do, and when it flashes, that means that it's set. So, it's set for 7 degrees Celsius, and that's why it's on. But... I mean, I have it only set for that for right now because I'm not sure exactly how much heat plastic bottles will take to actually melt. I believe the guy I watched on YouTube that made the machine, he was saying, I think he said it was like 50 degrees Celsius what he had his set for. But I know usually when I'm 3D printing, it takes around 100, uh, 270 is what I'm usually at now. But I know like usually anywhere over like 220 to 230 to 250, then usually you can melt the pla the plastic or the filament and then you can start using it to 3D print. But either way, now that I have showed you guys basically what this is and what I'm using it for in that wiring diagram, I wanted to make sure I showed you guys because there was no information about this exactly other than having to google it but other way either way i'm sorry um i was able to find the information and i was able to get this um 12 volt um uh, reader basically it shows 12.2 volts and that's coming out of my power supply and if i shut it off i can just press this button right here and that will shut off the switch on the relay that's built inside of here so if i just hold it for a few seconds one, two, there it goes. Then you may have heard that click. So now it's off and it's not going to be doing anything. I mean, there is still power going to it because you see that little green LED on the power supply because the machine is still on over here. Well, the power supply is on, but this isn't on. But if I press it really quick, it will turn back on. One, two, three, there it goes. And you even heard that click again. And now we got the heat 
that is 12.2 volts coming out. So all I have to do, hopefully, I'm going to do it in a second, but you guys won't be able to see it. I may make another video if you want to watch that. But um, what I'm going to do is make sure I strip the wires back long enough to fit this heater cartridge because this is a 12 volt heater cap cartridge for like any of those really old 3D printers like the uh, the Anet A8 3D printer or even some of the Prusa 3D printers I believe but either way um, these 12 volt heater cartridges you could buy they're not that expensive and they should be able to heat up to the degrees that you want because this machine comes with a probe already so that that black wire coming out of the back of this that's actually the thermostat or the thermistor so let me just show you what that looks like so this right here is the thermistor that came with it so a thermistor or a temperature sensor is what 3d printers basically use as well and if I hold on to it it'll actually change the voltage see the temperature is dropping or increasing because I'm holding on to it with my fingers and I have you know heat so like blood and everything is running that my heat from my body is actually going into the temperature sensor that's reading the information so either way me holding on to it is reading the actual voltage in DC and not DC well it's DC but in Celsius not Fahrenheit but I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see a video about me connecting and setting up this heater cartridge to be able to turn on and heat up um, basically a, a hot end. Because that's what you basically would, that's what the guy was using in the YouTube video. He basically had a hot end with a 12 volt heater cartridge and using the probe that came with the machine like how you see this one right here just to read the temperature either way i hope you guys like the video please like share subscribe let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching goodbye